Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown Battles. Today we're going to be rocking out with this Iron Maiden set. See, 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 see what I did there? Rocking out. I'm the worst with puns. Okay, anyway, we're running this. We're running this set. We made the team yesterday. I'm sure everyone's seen that team builder. That's what leads you to this video. So you know what? We're going to just get straight into the battle. You know what? Me too. You too. Yep. Why is that there? That's... Puns. No, please. But I'm confident. I'm feeling confident about this team. I'm feeling like as long as we don't come up against any crazy, like, full Tapu teams... We're seeing some crazy Alolan forms over here with Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Sandslash, and Alolan Marowak. Crazy. We see a Magnus Odogarchomp and a Tapu Fini. So, we do have things to check Tapus. Tapu Fini is actually not the scariest thing we could see. I think we lead with Pheromosa. I think we definitely lead with Pheromosa. Uh, I could see... Oh, then again, I could definitely see Alolan Ninetales being his lead. And if Alolan Ninetales leads, that's like a free Iron Maiden go. That's that's an amazing start if he leads with that. So I'm going to lead with that. I'm going to expect Alolan Ninetales. Tapu Fini! Tapu Fini! Not what I expected at all. Um... We do have Poison Jab on Araquanid, which I am happy to run. I'm happy to go into, in all honesty. Or I could just stay in. Moonblast, Scald, Ice Beam, they're not gonna do too much. We're quite a bulky Pokemon. However, I don't think we can return with much damage. I think we're swapping into Araquanid. I'm not the most comfortable with this. He's just gonna Surf first turn, gets the crit. First turn crit, always nice. Uh, I wish I had that luck. And do I see him staying in? Do I want a liquidation? Base power 170 with water bubble. That is so strong. Okay. Uh, I kind of just want a liquidation, to be truly honest. First turn, we're just going to liquidation. We're not going to make any overplays. We're just going to liquidation. Expecting a swap into something. Who knows what? Liquidation hits the rest of his team for neutral. So, honestly... He might feel a little bit trapped, like he can't swap. He does feel trapped, like he can't swap. Okay. Can we get defense drop? We do not get defense drop. That does not do much damage, either. Oh, this is a nice Pokemon to keep around, though. Uh, we, we do have the poison jab. We're gonna re completely reveal the poison jab now. If he does swap, then that could be bad. Uh, he does not swap. Poison jab, how much are you doing? Mmm. Mmm. That's not enough damage. That is not enough damage, I can assure you of that. That is not making me feel better about myself. That is... Oh... Tapu Fini. I ran this move just for you, and you're like, walling me. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not okay with this at all. Uh, that's really bad. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Valley, you're our best bet. You're 100% our best bet. Uh, is it named just Silvalli? I definitely called this thing Silvalli Flying. I 100% called this thing Silvalli Flying. Uh, do I think he's swapping? That Marowak, that Marowak right there, looks definitely tempting. That would be my swap. It's either the Marowak or the Garchomp. He has two Pokemon that completely immune electric. He can't see I am electric. I'm surfing. He, may, he swaps, that's all I care about. He did swap, that is fine, that is great, that is wonderful. It is time for Iron Maiden. He could expect this, because he did see the air balloon on our first turn. He fire blasts, oh. Oh, I think we can live that though, and if we shift gear, then that's the start of things. That is the start of things right there. Do we shift gear? Do we completely rely on Fire Blast not being as strong as I thought? I do. I'm shift gearing. I know... Oh, I do this way too often. I go in way too early. Okay, I shift geared. He did... He, I'm... Eh... Hidden Power Ground is not doing enough to him for me to feel comfortable. It's really not. Mudsdale. Mudsdale. Buddy. Pal. Or Dragonite. Either of those we can go into pretty safely here. Honestly, honestly, Mudsdale is defensive. We'll go into Mudsdale. We, it's there for a reason. 
It, oh my lord. Thick club boosted. That's all it needs. That is all it needs. Oh my lord. I'm going to obviously try and rest, but Flare Blitz is going to kill us. I have to let this thing go down to Flare Blitz. That... Marak is way too strong. He does swap, which means we do get our health. We don't get our health. He stopped us resting with Tapu Fini. <laughs> he just stopped us resting with that Tapu Fini. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was a play. Oh, that was such a good play. I can't even be mad. I wish right now I was a weakness policy Dragonite with Roost. I really do. That would be so beautiful. Uh, this this thing really isn't useful against his team. It just it just isn't useful. Dragonite checks the Alolan Marowak for an extent. We we can't swap. We can't swap. We, he got us. He got us there. We should have earthquaked. But uh, we're going down to this Moonblast. Completely expected. Tapu Fini is a problem. How do we deal with this? How are we going to deal with this? So Valley Electric is our check. Don't get me wrong. Definitely our check. Uh, he did see we went for Surf last time. Meaning... How confident are we that he is not swapping? The, the, tap... So Valley is our, is our option right here. But it's whether he swaps or he does not swap that determines what happens. So... Let's try and get into the mindset of our opponent right now. He's thinking, ah, uh, he's down a Pokemon, he should probably make the safe play. And the safe play... The safe play would be go into... Oh, I don't... Do we just Ice Beam? We're Thunderbolting, he's not swapping. He is not swapping. He is not swapping. He is not swapping. If he swaps, that could be really bad. He did not swap. We went for the Thunderbolt. He got the special attack drop. It does not matter. We get a crit. There we go. That special attack drop is not mattering right there. That could have been huge if I did not get that crit. If he just survived that turn, that would have been terrible for us. But that is a big problem out of the way. Dragonite can now do something. There is an Alolan Ninetales, which can do some damage to us. However... We do have Dragon Dance. That, that's the Nine Tails I was just on about. Uh, we are going to go for a Flamethrower, because we are rocking the Flamethrower. So, so Valley goes down. I'm not even too mad about that. I'm really not. Uh, I'm wondering if a Poison Jab from a Pheromosa could kill. Although part of me just screams at Khan. Part of me is screaming at Khan. But Iron Maiden can come out here. Iron Maiden can do things. Iron Maiden can definitely do things. We could flash cannon, we could shift gear, we could do something. What are we doing? Do we hidden power ground? We're hidden power grounding. Magnazone could come in. Marowak could come in. Either of those could come in pretty safely in his eyes. Because he does not know we have hidden power ground. Marowak comes in, takes a hidden power ground, dies to hidden power ground. I like hidden power ground. <laughs> I do very much like hidden power ground on this Pokemon. I think Feromosa could have honestly run it as well. I think it would have been nice in this match because he does have three Pokemon weak to ground. He does have a powerful team though. And honestly, I could definitely see the Sand Slash coming in. Sand Slash comes in. Sand Slash does come in. What does Sand Slash hit us with? That's the question. Because we have hidden power ground. So we can hit him for super effective, at plus one. We aren't going to go for the shift gear, because he will still outspeed us probably in the hail if he's speed invested at all, which I have to assume he is. So we are going to go for the hidden power ground. He's going to iron head, don't flinch me. Don't do this. We don't get flinched, we take him out of the hidden power ground. No flinch for you today, friend. Oh, here we go, Iron Maiden is here. Iron Maiden is doing what I wanted it to do in the first match. And you know what? That that makes me feel really, really nice inside. Seeing this Pokemon go, he is angry. I'm gonna have to like black out that message because he is swearing at me quite intensely. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, dude. Can you, can you not? <laughs> uh, Magnezone comes out, not actually, um, not what I expected him to do, because I would have... I mean, we have the Hidden Power Ground. We don't have an option. We have the Hidden Power Ground. 
Uh, if he has no speed investment, we might outspeed. Because we have some speed investment. We do not outspeed. We do not outspeed at all. Okay. Uh, instead, now, we are forced into... We could go into the Faramosa and blow something up. We can actually just blow something up. We don't even have to risk a miss. We can just Zed move all out pummeling and something will die. Something is guaranteed to die. So we're going to Zed move all out pummeling. That's a dead Garchomp. <laughs> that is actually a dead Garchomp. Goodbye, Garchomp. Oh, you live? Hello? He dies to the hail, though. Either way. Oh my god, he lived. That's... That's kind of amazing. That's kind of impressive. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. I'm... Wow. Is that defensive Garchomp? I think that was defensive Garchomp. That must have been. Surely. There's an all-out pummeling from a base 137 attack Pokemon. So Ninetales comes out. Um, I do feel like we are kind of forced to U-turn here. Although we can U-turn pretty safely and get just some chip damage. That's a little bit of damage, that's not too bad. Uh, we can go into the Araquanid. Araquanid does have the Poison Jab, which can hit this. Uh, Moonblast is not too much damage. It's a little bit, it is a little bit. In fact, Liquidation is just safer rather than Poison Jabbing. Poison Jab goes to 160, super effective. Liquidation, Liquidation is so much stronger, oh my lord. Oh my lord, Liquidation is strong. Never mind, we are not Poison Jabbing. We have no reason to Poison Jab. The only thing Poison Jab hits, like, moderately well, would be, like, a Tapu Fini. He does get the Crit Freeze Dry. Did the Crit matter? The Crit may not have mattered. I don't think the Crit mattered. It would have been close. Because Freeze Dry is a base 70 move. Moonblast is a lot stronger, although that did twice. I think that didn't matter. I don't know. I'm honestly a little bit upset if that did matter. But, um... Dragonite can definitely deal with Magnazone, so we're kind of forced into... Lusamine. Although we can just U-turn again if we want to be, like, stupidly safe. How do we want to play this? Do we want to play stupid safe, or do we want to play... All in. What's stronger? High jump kick. High jump kick neutral is stronger than poison jab again. Poison jab, you're not pulling your weight, okay? Can we talk about poison jab for a moment? Can this be base 90? I would feel a little bit more comfortable then. Uh, we could high jump kick. That's more risky though. U turn resisted did. Oh, I don't think poison jab's gonna kill. We're going for the poison jab. I don't want to miss a high jump kick and risk it all. I really don't. So we're just gonna poison jab. It does take him out, okay. I was a little bit cautious about whether that was actually gonna happen. We do get the speed boost, not that that matters in the slightest. Uh, that does not matter, even a little bit. Magnazone already has a little bit of chip damage, so Sturdy is broken. We have an uh, Dragonite in the back of Earthquake, meaning we have won this game. We have won this game. I do not think there is a way he can win, unless he... Did he really disconnect there? He's really gonna disconnect there? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> This guy right here, if I've forgotten to get rid of that message, by the way, which is in the complete realm of possibility, because I do tend to miss things like that every now and again. I shouldn't, because I'm reminding myself of it twice now, but uh, if I do forget that, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I am sorry. I I did forget, if, it's, if you've seen the message, or I just... I don't know. I genuinely forgot. Uh, we are gonna look for a new match while we, uh, while we have that countdown going. Wait, what? What is this? This is- this is different. This is new. This is exciting. I'm just gonna wait for the countdown. I think that's to do with the countdown. We are on the final countdown right now. I kind of want him to come back. I kind of want him to just accept his loss, to be truly honest. He's also two people. Can we talk about that? This is two people together. That's kind of impressive. Don't know why they only have three Pokemon each, or like six Pokemon between them. They could have 12 Pokemon. I don't know how anyone would beat uh, 12 Pokemon, but we do win the match. That means we can close this, and there's the normal thing. I, I could have probably clicked add game, and it would have just got me in a new game, but... <laughs> I don't like clicking new things. <laughs> I don't like breaking things while I'm recording, because uh, last week I think Pokemon Showdown crashed. Pretty sure it crashed. Can't remember. Two Tapus, a Tox Specs. Yeah, this is, this is what I was expecting to fight. Okay. So, so this is going to be annoying. Uh, we see a Celesteela, which... That right there is annoying enough. We see a Toxpex, which is just as annoying. An Alakazam, Tapu Koko, Tapu Fini, and Alola Marowak. So literally the most powerful team I think I could have seen. Uh, that's very, very intimidating. Tapu Koko Lee is pretty safe because he gets the electric terrain up and can Volt Switch and stuff. So I could definitely see him leading with that. Um, do we, how do we act on that? We can't go into Mudsdale because the Grass Knot will absolutely annihilate us. 
Uh, we're just gonna go into Pheromos, so get that U-turn damage, I guess. At least with Toxic Packs, not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Uh, we are gonna U-turn. We're definitely gonna U-turn, and we're gonna go out into the Dragonite, I guess. Or Silvalli, either or. Silvalli or Dragonite, either of those is fine. He might hard swap, who knows. Uh, this Pokemon doesn't get the most coverage. If he knows that, then I don't see him swapping. Also looks really weird from behind with this like whole thing going on. Baneful Bunkers, you know, that wasn't even a bad play. That was not even a bad play. Completely expecting the U-turn. 100% expecting the U-turn. Worked out well for him, can't even be mad. Uh, thankfully we're not focused Ash, because that would be really bad from the start. We could try going into Magirna to Hidden Power ground him down, but this is a Toxpex. Tox I hate this Pokemon so much. Are you gonna stockpile? Sets up the Toxic Spikes, okay. That's uh, a little bit annoying. Now, we're in this moment again, where we can make plays. Do we surf expecting the Alolan Marowak? I think we do. We, oh, I hope, this twice now. First time, I shouldn't just overplay like that. He does get Skull Burn, this guy. This guy, he's got all the hazards he could need. Um, I mean, I'm fun to bowling. I'm, I can't risk not doing any more damage to him because I don't want my Silvalli taking too much damage because I'm assuming it's gonna have to like do a load of swapping and stuff. I, um, he baneful bunkers to scout. So he's seen we have the Thunderbolt now. Will he swap into the Marowak? I'm gonna click Surf really quickly, hoping that uh, that makes him want to go into the Marowak. Look, I'm putting pressure on you. I'm making it like I'm doing the obvious play of Thunderbolting. Yes! I wanna believe that that worked out in my favor. Oh, that's great. Um, we should outspeed Marowak. We can Surf. That's a dead Marowak. That's great. That's great. That is absolutely amazing. I. When you make the right plays like that, you get this nice feeling inside. Um, that's a dead Marowak. That's really, really nice. To see Silvalli Electric take out a Marowak with an Electric Immunity just like that, very, very nice. However, Silvalli does get whittled down a little bit. I could definitely see Alakazam coming out here. Mm. See, now I don't like that. Because this gets Psyshock. And Psyshock destroys us. It can also get stuff like Energy Ball. And I kind of need this thing around, because Electric is very, very valuable, especially if he sets up the Electric Terrain for us. That will be very valuable for the Tox Specs. I need this thing around for the Tox Specs, to be truly honest. So I can't let this thing die. The question is, what am I swapping out into? Assuming he is Mega. Can we go into Iron Maiden? Psyshock, Shadow Ball maybe, Focus Blast maybe. Focus Blast would be a bit of damage, don't get me wrong. Uh... An energy ball? He shouldn't have a fire or ground type move. He could probably hit us with a mean focus blast, but... I'm I'm gonna go out into Iron Maiden, purely because we don't have a lot else we can go out into. Alakazam is a little bit threatening if it has energy ball. Dragonite, maybe if we had, like, an actual free swap, then maybe we'd be okay, but... What are you going for? You're gonna trace Soul Heart. Hold up, no, none of that, none of, no, 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 I don't like that, I did a bad thing, I did a bad, bad thing, okay. Shift gear will get us to the point where we outspeed, we may as well shift gear, there's no reason not to shift gear unless he trick rooms, which, let's be honest, that's not happening. So, we can shift gear to outspeed, um, he could definitely swap, although that soul heart is probably looking pretty tempting for him, he does swap, he does swap. Uh, we can't touch Celesteela. We cannot touch Celesteela in the slightest. With, like, any of our Pokemon. Oh, that's such a bad type for us to go against. That's such a bad type. I did not consider Celesteela, and I should've. I really should've. It's one of the most broken Pokemon in the game. Uh... We have other things to deal with Toxapex and Tapu Fini. We can deal with them in other ways. Um, so Valley Electric, you're so valuable, and you, you... I don't like the fact you've taken damage. Please go for something crazy. Protect. That's fine. We have no reason not to Thunderbolt now. Stab Thunderbolt. It's gonna hit something. Now, we should outspeed Celesteela. Unless he's max speed investment. Even if he's max speed invested, I mean... 
with he's, he, I, I don't see it happening. I really don't. I think Thunderbolt should be a nice move here. Tapu Koko could come in, but he'd be setting up the terrain for us. That is nice damage, and we resist the Heavy Slam. That is very, very nice. That is very, very nice. We can Thunderbolt again, no reason not to. Uh, he can protect for a little bit of burn damage. Honestly, okay, and leftovers, I guess. So, I mean, it was probably worth protecting. He did do the right play, it just feels stally when he's not really stalling that hard. He's really not. Uh, Thunderbolt, definitely our best play. 100%. Could go into the Tapu Koko. Um, Tapu Koko would be a pretty safe bet then. I would act on it, but honestly, like, no. So he traces the RKS system. <laughs> I want to know just how that works exactly, but okay. Uh, we can keep this thing around, because it does outspeed some of his Pokemon. It outspeeds the Tox Specs and it outspeeds the uh, Cell Stealer. So this thing is worth keeping around in a way. So are we expecting the Psy Shock? I can't go into Iron Maiden again. I can't risk giving him a Soul Boost thing. Soul Boost thing, that's what it's called. Uh, he could also have Dazzling Gleam, so I'm not safe go- Oh, Alakazam, why do you have the craziest coverage? Oh my, I do not like its coverage. What are we not using? What are we not using? We're not using Mudsdale. Mudsdale, I am sorry if this is sacking you off, because he might have Energy Ball, but you are what we have to go into. You can take a Psy Shock well. You can take a Psy Shock well. I wish it was Assault Vest right now. Definitely wish it was Assault Vest, but you can take a Psy Shock. Not as well as I would have liked, but it took it. Ah, uh, we're gonna try an Earthquake. He does have a Flying type, which makes Earthquake a little bit debatable about whether I should go for it. Uh, he does have the Energy Ball. See, like, oh, I expected it, but at the same time, what, what else could I do? So we can go into the Ferramosa. We do outspeed him. The question is, do we expect a swap into something? I think we have to. Yeah, we have to U-turn. There's no option other than that for us. We do outspeed him by one point, which is lovely. He goes back into the top specs, expected, I guess. Uh, we can go into the Sil Valley Electric here, where it will take a tiny bit of damage, I'm pretty sure, but he will probably Baneful Bunker this first turn. But I do really want to get a nice dent in this. He's going to Baneful Bunker, that was obvious, you know, we saw that coming, but we are going to hopefully get this Thunderbolt off on something, and that's damage. Most importantly, that is going to be solid damage off on something. Maybe he'll just let Toxapex die. I can dream, right? I can actually dream. Because Toxapex is such a stupidly strong wall. He just... Ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha. And he recovers. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Can we live? No. Oh, that's a real problem for us. Uh, I do think it's time to go into Dragonite. I do think against this Toxapex is when we go into Dragonite. So, he could definitely Baneful Bunker, so we're going to Dragon Dance. We're, I mean, I don't like Dragon Dancing straight away, but I want- he didn't Baneful Bunker. He's gonna go for the Scald Burn. He did not get the Scald Burn, that's nice. That is very nice. We're Dragon Dancing again. Baneful Bunker. Baneful Bunker. No Baneful Bunker, okay. Uh, he's gonna go for the Scald Burn again. He gets it, which is a little bit annoying, but, I mean, we do have the Lumberry there for a reason. Uh, now we click Earthquake. We click Earthquake. Tapu Fini can wall us. Mmm, got me there. Thankfully we don't make contact. Um, I could honestly keep Dragon Dancing, but I really want to, like, dent this Toxpex. I want to get this Toxpex the hell out, so the rest of my team can deal with it. I really do. There we go, it goes down to a crit. Thank you, Crit Lord. I don't know if that was necessary. It probably was. Toxapex is a horrible thing to go up against. Is his defensive wall Celesteela Toxapex? Because that's... Oh, that's actually disgusting. <laughs> so I could definitely see Tapu Fini coming out. Yep, Tapu Fini comes out. Got a special defense increase. Why? Misty Seed. Different? Different. Um... Yeah, that's not even that bad. Wow. Misty Seed. Okay. I did not know if that I am I am in a little bit of a moment here. Uh do we just earthquake? Moonblast will probably destroy us. I'm gonna be honest. Moonblast is looking pretty damn obvious. We can go into the Araquanid. We know Araquanid can take hits pretty well. Uh I feel like this Dragonite is way too important to let go. He does have two Fairy-types, and it can't really 
break Celesteela or Alakazam without the Dragon Dancers up. I'm just going to Earthquake. I really don't have a lot of options here. Does a lot of damage, which is nice. He made a weird play. He got rid of our stats. This Earthquake, we were at times two attack. This did 67%. <laughs> that means we did roughly 33.5% if we didn't have the... That means Earthquake can kill. High roll, or even medium roll, that may have been the lowest roll possible. That 67% may have been the lowest roll possible. I will take it. That feels like a 50-50 roll. That feels like I'm rolling an unlucky dice. Uh, Tapu Koko comes out. I am really forced into Earthquaking this thing. I am really, really forced into Earthquaking. That Haze may not have even been the worst for him. He can Dazzling Gleam. Not as strong as Moonblast, but it's going to take us out. He is the Life Orb set I like to run. Okay. Uh, that's a problem for me. That is, um... I wish we were running the Poison set move. <laughs> I really do. Uh, oh, that's a bit of an issue. We can Hidden Power Ground with Magurna, I guess. Can probably live any one hit. Thunderbolt is scary, is very scary, don't get me wrong. Uh, or we can go into Pheromosa and Poison Jab him. But I feel like that Pheromosa is how we check his Alakazam. As long as this Pheromosa is alive, his Alakazam is essentially useless. So we will go into the Magirna, I guess. Magirna. And um, we will hit Power Ground. We could shift gear. Realistically, we could shift gear. Um, we could also like Flash Cannon or Dazzling Gleam, expecting Celesteela. Celesteela is very, very likely. We're gonna hit him power ground. He's gonna Volt Switch out. Oh, that's really bad. He does take a little bit of damage, which gets, puts him closer to Poison Jab range. <laughs> I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. Poison Jab, please. Um, Alakazam comes out. Alakazam's gonna take a hidden power ground. I really don't want him getting that Soul Heart boost, but he's going to. He doesn't outspeed the Pheromosa though, which is fine. Uh, he is going to take us out, obviously. There was no real anything going on there. Gets the Soul Heart boost. That's a terrifying poke one, by the way. Alakazam with Soul Heart, that is monstrously terrifying. I do not like that one bit. But this is our check to it. Um, do we want a Poison Jab? Do we want to just all out Zed move right now? We're just going to U-turn. We're just, we're just going to make the safe U-turn. Should have went all out Zed move. Damn it. I was this close to all out Zed moving, expecting to sell the Steeler. This close. And I was like, no, he wouldn't do that. Why would he do that? But he did it. He went and did it. I was like, oh, I'm so annoyed. I mean, I knew he was going to swap, but I expected the Tapu, to be truly honest. Uh, we're going for the liquidation here. He's going to go for that little extra turn of poison damage. He's definitely playing the slight stall game. I will give him that. He's definitely playing the slight stall game. Uh, we can liquidation again. Um, Celesteela. It's going to be very, very hard for us to break through with Pheromosa. It's going to be very, very difficult indeed. So I would definitely like to get this thing on. Goes into the Alakazam, sack off the Alakazam. That isn't even his worst play, because he now gets a safe swap into the Tapu Koko. Um, the Tapu Koko is going to take Life Orb damage though, which I love that. I love the fact he's going to take Life Orb damage. If we live this, we are max special defense, max HP. We do not live. Poison Jab, it is your time. It is your time, Poison Jab. I, this is all I can do. This is all I can do. I can't risk a high jump kick miss at this point. I could all out pummeling. Honestly, I really could, but I feel like Poison Jab should kill. Poison Jab kills. Here we go, here we go. Is this winning again? Is this the clutch moment again? He might think the Celesteela has this. Celesteela might have like, uh, does it get Air Slash? Might get Air Slash, but we're Zed moving. We're gonna end this with our only all out pummeling. It goes through Protect. <laughs> it does go through Protect. Ha! Ah, 21%. Meaning, we need to just land this high jump kick. If he goes to the double protect right here, I will cry. High jump kick, please. I'm praying. Please. High jump kick. Connect. Kill. High jump kick, connect. That's it. That's game. We win. I am I am liking these clutch last minute moments. I am liking Feromosa as well, but that was a close game. That was a great game. I actually love that game. Um, Honestly... One more match, and uh, my heart, I just, if there's another match that close, I will, I'll have a moment, oh my god, we're doing really well so far, even though we do have a couple of weaknesses I'm starting to spot. Um, one of which being 
we don't really have a lot of checks to things, but meh. Um, or at least common things. Cell Stealer. We need a, we need a big check Cell Stealer, other than like going all out pummeling. Uh, we see a Mimikyu, Alolan, a Marowax. That's two ghost types right there. Um, we see a Vicar Vault. Slow. Magiana. Okay. Porygon 2. Ugh. Not this. And Reuniclus. So Porygon 2 is probably going to be the Z conversion set, meaning that's essentially an electric type to me, and I'm going to absolutely need to destroy it. So, what are we leading with? Are we leading with Pheromosa? Um. Hmm, do we lead with Pheromosa is the question. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. We're gonna, I think we can lead with Pheromosa. It kind of checks things. Porygon 2! Oh, we could all out pummeling this thing right now. We could just go all in right now. <laughs> you, you don't understand how much I want this thing gone. <laughs> um, is there a need to all out pummeling? Could we just high jump kick it and get it killed? If we high jump kick, then a ghost type could come in. I don't want a Z move and then a ghost type come in. Uh... This is such a problem. I Is he Zed converting is the question. He got the special attack boost, which might convince him. Do we Zed move? It's quite a big thing to just blitz away just like that. However, it does not hit his team very hard other than this. So, I mean, we're going to go for it. We're going to actually go for it. Very, very risky first turn play. Very, very risky. Oh, oh, we're doing it. Oh, that's a dead Porygon too. Oh, this is the best. Did I just crit that? You can crit Zed moves. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. The, the damage that from that Porygon too. I don't care. I don't care what that was. That was gone. Um, actually, it probably wasn't the conversion set, in all honesty. Because if he was, he'd run it on Porygon Z, not Porygon 2. Um, we're going to break the disguise, which is a lovely turn. Uh, what are we going to go into to check this, though? Magiana? Maybe? You, you kind of do it. Kind of. Um, Mimikyu, you're, you're actually a little bit of a problem here. Um, I feel like as long as we, we don't want to go into that straight away. We want to go into... Oh, we do not have a lot to hit this either. Mudsdale? I mean, it's a physical wall. It has a steel-type move. This is... This is a pretty safe bet. Trick Room. Thanks. <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Uh, I really appreciate it. I am definitely slower than you. Do we Heavy Slam? Do we Earthquake? Does, does Reuniclus get Levitate? I don't remember. We're gonna Rock Slide. I feel like that's just the thing that hits everything the most neutrally. Um, apart from Magiana, but we might actually undercut that in speed, which will be great because we can just Earthquake at the turn after. So I feel like Rock Slide is our best bet. Plus there's always flinch chances now because we're in Trick Room. Uh, that's one thing that I did not expect to be saying. Mudsdale has flinch chances. Uh, never expected that with the speed this thing has, but sure, crazy things can happen in Pokemon. <laughs> this is weird. I would love to see a Mudsdale just going at lightning speed. Although he is, he's a I don't understand why he's that slow. He is a big horse. Horses aren't that slow. But apparently they're slow in Pokemon. Uh, we're going to start the timer. Because I'm impatient. <laughs> basically. And he's... We started off... That Zed move put him in such a bad position from the start. I feel bad about just blitzing on him. But I really had to. I can't... For anyone that doesn't know about the conversion Porygon 2 things... Woodhammer. Okay. That's definitely scary. I'll give him that. Uh, we have to heavy slam now. Um, another woods... What, why, why is that thing a wood hammer? Um, goes into Magirna, which is great. We can heavy slam that. Get some nice damage. Do we outspeed you? What is our speed? 106. You have to be faster than us. Meaning we can earthquake you. Oh, this is great. This is a great game for us. Honestly, that's incredible. Um, what was I saying? Conversion, right. I got completely distracted there because I was having many, many, many fun times killing that Pokemon. Um, we might even undercut you in speed. If we do, then oh, we might even live a Flare Blitz. I don't know, we're plus one defense. Um, Zed Conversion gives a plus one to all of the stats we don't live and also changes the type to wherever your first move is so you can change yourself to like, normally people go with Electric because Electric is a nice solid type. 
but you can change yourself into an electric type and raise all of your stats plus one, which is why it's a very scary Pokemon and why I was very afraid of it. So this is a um, Rockhead uh, Marowak. Not what I expected, to be truly honest. Not what I expected at all. I'm honestly a little bit surprised at that, but uh, we can we can go into the Araquanid. Uh, it's not by any means like the best thing we could go into because Flare Blitz is still going to do a lot of damage, but it's resisted. We are a special wall, but we are max HP. And Liquidation will kill this thing without a doubt. Without a doubt in my mind. It will drop through dimensions. It will be sent back to the Shadow Realm from which this Alolan Pokemon was born. But he goes into the Reuniclus, which, you know, gets the defense drop. Oh, that's... I am sorry, dude. I am sorry. I am... I feel bad. That was unnecessary. That was really unnecessary. I did not need that. But we will Liquidation again. That does a lot of damage again. It's going to set up the Trick Room. That's fair, that's fair. Um, he's definitely running a Trick Room team. Uh, the Porygon 2 probably had Trick Room as well, to be honest, but yeah, that kind of got destroyed. Uh, I should have probably swapped this thing out, because it does really need to be alive if we want to kill that Marowak. Like, it's, de it's definitely our best. Dan, A Drive reference, I like it, okay. Uh, we're gonna swap into... Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a Pokemon that I do not like fighting against. What's he going for? Electric type move, probably. We need this thing alive, really, to deal with the Marowak. We really do. I don't feel like Magana is going to be too useful. We're going to go into the Sil Valley, though. I'm I'm feeling electric type move. Goes for the Thunderbolt. Yep, we we take that. Not the best. He's life orb. That's bad. I was hoping to be specs. Um, I don't know if we can live a Bug Buzz in that case. I really don't. I can flame for our believing that we can live a Bug Buzz. But I think a Bug Buzz will kill. The Bug Buzz should kill. I don't see why he wouldn't be running Bug Buzz. Uh, he might swap because he wants to preserve this thing and he might be afraid of something. But Bug Buzz should kill. He Volt Switches. That's not even the worst. It's better than him just straight up killing us. I'll take a Volt Switch over him just killing us. Uh, I could see... I, I could see Marowak coming back in. Which is really bad, because we were meant for Flamethrower. Goes back into the Marowak. Yep, okay. Uh, sadly, we can't burn that, which would be great. Um, Trick Room is up, meaning he is definitely outspeeding us. But it's only for one turn. Meaning, if we go into the Dragonite... Then we can Earthquake the turn after and do some good damage to something. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to keep this thing alive. For turns when Trick Room is not up, because I don't know if he has any other Trick Room says. I don't think any of the other Pokemon get Trick Room. Mimic used to have Trick Room. That's a Pokemon. That's a thing. Um, he just fourth, he just disconnected. Uh, I guess he saw how much that Flare Blitz did and was just like, well, I can't win. Kind of an anticlimactic way to like end this off after the crazy matches that we had to start off with, but you know what, that's how Pokemon goes sometimes. So, if you guys did enjoy the first two amazing matches, and you still enjoyed that match, because that still was good, that all that, all that pummeling first turn, ha, oh, ha, oh, much fun, much enjoyment. If you guys have enjoyed these battles, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!